As a long jump progresses, so should your coaching. And every year I'm working on simplifying how to teach the long jump. So this video is the long jump checkpoints to help athletes have a more successful career. You want to bring your speed in, hit flat footed on the board with a negative upright position, allowing your speed to blow through the board. Then from there you want to drive that knee forward. It will come up to the A position, keeping your posture upright. From there you want to get to your checkpoint where you are stacked chest up, arms above the head. This is your halfway hover point. Then from there you want to bring that knee to chest because your opposite leg will match. You're reaching high as you can, chest stays upright. Then from there you want to flick your knees forward, your ankles will follow. You swipe your arms downwards as your feet come upwards. Then you get into a successful landing. So what I did is I had all the athletes line up triple jumpers and long jumpers and literally just walk through each checkpoint and position, only the first few. The main focus is making sure their arms are upright, um, their chest is up tall, and it's connecting their body to their brain so they know exactly what their body is supposed to feel like when they hit these positions. Now this is Maddie, last year she jumped 16 feet 5 inches, this year she is an 8th grader, um, and she did really well last year and she caught on to it, but as you can see, she kind of rushes her motions and now that she's aware of it we're going to be able to correct it and perfect her technique and form as we progress through the whole season now again every athlete needs to go through this at one at a time in the beginning make sure that all the other athletes are watching because they're going to pick up some cues that you just can't teach now as you're um, teaching it it's okay to get hands on and move their body in position because their mind cannot move them to those positions yet until you physically show them what it feels like and where it's supposed to be. Now once they find that position, then as they get stronger, they'll be able to match those positions on their own. And obviously progressing into the actual event, you're going to be able to do this from a running speed instead of walking, then to live jumps. Remember to click that subscribe button. I have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday. For very detailed and exclusive information, make sure you visit KeenanBriggs.com.